Hey guys, I'm Tommy, it's Randy. We cover Iowa State sports for the Des Moines Register and we're at the Sprint Center for the Big 12 tournament. Now Randy, there are a couple of storylines we'll have to keep an eye on. Probably the biggest one over the last couple of days has been the health of Monte Morris. He was at Iowa State's workout, but he's not gonna practice today. Yeah, and that's that's okay. Um, the only thing that, that that's could might bother would be his stamina in in that respect. But uh, he's got the he's still got a bad right shoulder. It's the AC joint in his right shoulder, and it's it's not good. So uh, you know, we called it a rotator earlier. It's not. It's it's the AC joint. Um, he's going to get treatment. He's been getting treatment. He's going to be left-handed tomorrow, I think. And it's not. It's not going to affect his shot because he hasn't been shooting that much anyway. His deal is to facilitate, get the ball to George, get the ball to Jamil, um, get the ball to Matt Thomas, get the ball to scoring places for the for the offense because there's going to be a lot of points scored in the game. So they don't really need him to score in this game. Um, and, and primarily the, the idea is probably to save him as much as they can for the tournament, the NCAA tournament. Now one of the other big storylines stopping Oklahoma's Buddy Heald. I don't think you can stop him, but how do you try to limit him? Matt Thomas has defended him the last the last two, um, two times they've, they've played, the two times they played this year. Um, he scored 22, but he scored 22 when, when Oklahoma won in Norman um, in the first Big 12 game of the year. He scored 27 in Ames in the game that Iowa State won. Um, he's 18 for 46 against Iowa State, against Matt Thomas. So like, you're right, you're not gonna stop him. You just try to limit his transition baskets, make it uncomfortable for him as much as possible, and, and, and guard him a little bit, because Buddy Heald, let's face it, he's prone to turnover. He handles the ball so much, he's he's kind of prone to turnover. But uh, Matt Thomas has done it before. Um, Utah had 30 in the first half in the, against, uh, in the Iowa, Iowa State game. Matt Thomas, they switched Thomas onto him. He had two in the second half. So Matt Thomas is, is the guy didn't play a lick of, high, lick of defense in high school. He's playing it pretty good right now. What's the best case scenario for Iowa State in leaving this tournament and then heading into the NCAA tournament? I still think Iowa State needs to win one game. One game will get Iowa State a four seed, likely in, Can in uh, St. Louis. Do they still try to prioritize the top 16, the top 16 seeds? And, and I think Iowa State could get a four if they beat Oklahoma. If they don't beat Oklahoma. It's going to be iffy, but I would guess the five would be in there, and then it's a, it's a crapshoot throwing darts where where they would end up. But uh, best case scenario, a four seed in St. Louis with a victory against Oklahoma. Sounds so, good. To me. Yeah, uh, there's um, maybe a couple other things. Uh, what what about depth? What is that going to? What's that going to do? They say it's not going to matter. Yeah. Look, they, they want to get some momentum. The, the idea of winning this three years in a row is an important thing to them. I think in the grand right. scheme of things, what they get one or two extra more days off. It is physically and probably mentally draining going through uh, three days worth of games if they get that far. But, uh, you know, you, you have a chance to win. You go out and win and do something historic. It's not going to be in, be the end of the world if they lose a game. Sure. If they lose a game on, on Thursday night against Oklahoma or they lose a night later Friday, it's not the end of the world. We saw what happened last year. This team was, you know, they played, they played in the championship game, won the championship game here, and then lost in the, whatever it was, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning game in the NCAA tournament. So we've seen that. We've seen them think, we know they can win this tournament. So I'm saying it. if they lose, big deal. It's not, not a big deal. But, uh, so keep your eye on the Des Moines Register and Des Moines Register.com for Tommy's coverage and my coverage, because we'll have it for you. Thank you very much.